There is not a shortage of gasoline. There is not reason to panic. It is strictly a problem of transportation. Tonight at 11, a South Florida gas station owner is urging people to not rush to the pumps unless they absolutely have to. Tonight, officials are insisting that the issue is delivery and not a lack of fuel. But it may be it take a while before things get back to normal. CBS News Miami's Gabriela Arzola explains. We have not seen lines like this since the pandemic or even hurricane prep. Now, even though there is no gas shortage, folks say they're going to get gas no matter what. It's been days of chaos at the pump. Cars bumper to bumper waiting in line to get any fuel they can. This is crazy, right? It's like at the end of the world, something like that, right? Throughout South Florida, we have seen on social media lines wrapped around for blocks and now police taking charge on moving traffic along. But why are all these people suddenly filling up? Folks tell me they don't really know. Are we running out of gas? What's happening? Nobody knows. Experts say this is a symptom of panic buying. Last week, Port Everglades was overcome with massive amounts of flooding, and because of that, fuel stations were underwater. That led to fuel trucks waiting in line for hours to fill up. So this means gas stations weren't able to get gas as quickly, which led to some stations completely out of gas. Please do not panic. Max Alvarez is the president of Sunshine Gasoline Distributors, and he owns and operates 500 gas stations around South Florida. And he says these long lines are making a bad situation worse. People here, because of their panic, they're really causing a problem. He explains there are more fueling stations open in Port Everglades, but even though more trucks can fuel up, it still can't catch up with the demand. There is not a shortage of gasoline. There is no reason to panic. It is strictly a problem of transportation. So experts say if you don't need gas, then you certainly do not have to wait in these lines. And they also say they expect everything to go back to normal sometime next week. In Doral, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS News, Miami.